Getting to the control panel. The control panel is very important to know about. It is where you will control, manage, and configure the Wi-Fi Ranger and its connections. The control panel does not require an internet connection, so as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi Ranger wirelessly or with an ethernet cable, you should be able to pull up the control panel just fine. So let's connect to the Wi-Fi Ranger and see how we access the control panel. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi Ranger wirelessly to its Wi-Fi broadcasts and enter my WPA key. Your Wi-Fi Ranger broadcast and WPA key will be different, so please check the quick start guide that came with your order for this information. Notice that I am connected to the PVT.WiFi Ranger signal and no longer my previous connection. Next, pull up your web browser such as Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Safari. In this case, I'm going to open Safari. Go to the address bar located at the top of your browser and type in My Wi-Fi Ranger. In some browsers, this may search for My Wi-Fi Ranger instead of going to the control panel. If that's the case, try going to MyWiFiRanger.com. A third way of getting to the control panel is by using an IP address based on your Wi-Fi Ranger ID. To get this address, please read the Quick Start Guide or the Wi-Fi Ranger User Manual. If any of these methods are not working, double check your connection and make sure you are still connected to the Wi-Fi Ranger. This concludes the training on how to get to the Wi-Fi Ranger control panel. For a general overview of the Wi-Fi Ranger control panel, please watch our next video. Thanks for watching.